It's Thanksgiving week and most families know exactly what to expect. After all, they've followed the same holiday script for decades. Yes, so many traditions. In fact, Chris Sodge takes a look back at all those Thursdays of turkey, football and giving in our Daybreak Rewind. Thanksgiving is arguably the day with more tradition than any other. And for a lot of us, every year starts with a run. Before the turkey, there's the trot. In the early turkey trots were eight mile races everyone could enjoy. Does it worry that you're coming in last? Oh no, I'm so proud. I never thought I'd make eight. This year's trophies were different than the traditional awards because there was a shortage of metal turkeys. We can handle a trophy without turkey as long as it's on our plate. And Texans have always loved giving others the chance to eat. They tell me these people are very lonely on Thanksgiving. This restaurant owner invited anyone without a turkey dinner to come get one. And as we look back through the Jones Film Archive at SMU, we found several stories of people giving thanks and just plain giving. And they're very happy, and, and to me, that, that's what makes I feel good about it. But turkey trot done and dinner digesting by 3 p.m. because that's time for the Cowboys. I am Tom Landry, head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys have played on all but two Thanksgivings since 1966, and in those early days, before the Super Bowls and legends, a young Tom Landry was still thankful. It's a time in which we can spend with our families and reflect back uh, on the past year of all the things that we should be most grateful for. But while the Cowboys have always played, halftime was a little different. So help me God. So help me God. Instead of a big name music act, an entire Navy cadet class was sworn in. A nod to the men and women who aren't home for the holiday we were thankful then. I'm Ed Pfeiffer, station manager of WFAA-TV. And we're thankful now. On behalf of the staff and management of this station, the happiest of Thanksgiving. Chris Sadegi, News 8 Daybreak. <laughs> and we're reminded of something else, too. There are, there are people who don't have family and friends during the holidays. There are people who don't have meals and so that effort too this many years later continuing with food pantries and Minnie's pantry and North Texas Food Bank and, and we can go on at the number of people and organizations that try to help. Yeah and I did have one person come on my Facebook page yesterday we were talking about Christmas movies and she said my son's deployed I can't wait till he gets home so we can uh, watch those together so not everyone getting to spend it um, with their family until well maybe it's it's just delayed. Yeah it's delayed and we see those reunions reunions at the airport they never get old do they?